Good day everyone, I am Diesel Faye Raga Guevara from Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English. So today I'm going to discuss about the advantages of media and information literacy. But before that, let us define first what is media and information literacy. What is media and information literacy? It is linked to access information, free expression, and education. Media and Information Literacy Mill, defined as the ability to access, analyze, and create media, is a prerequisite for citizens to realize their rights to freedom of information and expression. So based on the definition here, media and information literacy is linked to access to information, free expression, and education. Media and information literacy, or simply known as MIL, is defined as the ability to access, analyze, and create media is a prerequisite for citizens to realize their rights, freedom of information and expression. So media and information literacy based from our definition here, it is someone's ability to access information and to access media from to analyze and to critically think an information or a media tool and also media and information literacy enables us to create new form of media and it is also to prerequisite or let's say it's a requirement for us citizens to realize that we have the rights and freedom for freedom of information and expression media and information literacy can help people to first develop critical thinking skills so being able to understand and to interpret various forms of media it develops our critical thinking skills or our deeper way of interpreting things because it enables us to scrutinize and to judge and evaluate which media tools will help us in a particular objective that we have set next understand how media messages shape our culture and society so being media literate enables us have this wider understanding towards other culture and towards a wider society next is to recognize what media makers wants us to believe or do a media literacy individual because our critical thinking skills are developed we can also recognize what these authors or media makers wants us to believe or wants us to execute or it is how we recognize what this media wants us to tell us next media literacy enables us to recognize bias spin misinformation and lies being media literate also helps us to prevent a being a victim of fake news upon deciding which media platform you will use or you can also think whether this particular media platform shows you legitimate information or not next is to discover the parts of the story that are not being told so media information literacy enables you to examine both sides of the story for example there is a news presented to you so as media literate individuals you won't just believe on that particular news alone what you will do is you will research on that both sides of the news and then after that it is the time wherein you can create a generalized idea or conclusion derived from the researchers that you have conducted next is to evaluate media messages based on our experiences skills and values and is to distribute our own media messages and last is to be an advocate for media justice yes media brings people together it can make us feel love think consider and it can make us feel right but if we are not careful it can also fill our minds with false information and can make us feel confused and sad it can affect our thinking even the things we desire and who we eventually become so how can we guard our minds 
How can we train ourselves to evaluate and filter information from media? We can spare a lot of assumptions by simply verifying information. The answer to that is being a media literate. Being near it is simply taking a step further, digging a little deeper, considering a little longer, and thinking a little harder about the information we get from media. Because what you expose yourself to affects you. So, be a media literate, guard your mind, and guard your lives. Thank you.